Hi,、uh, my name is Nobu. Nobu of Fukuda is a full name. I'm from Japan. And passion to cooking is wow you are. That's the whole thing. And I think it's people who h a s my dinner could remember for a long time. I mean, food tastes have to be good, but the memory is more important for me. So, a little bit of a Supplies that I like to do. I grew up with a very strict family and very pressure cooking, and I need to get out. I saw Moonlock when I was young, like fourth grade or fifth grade.、Uh, Apollo went to the moon, and Neil Armstrong brings some rock. So, my grandma told me the moon, they have a bunnies making rice cake. I believed it. And the other hand was actually human went to the moon and coming back. So I got to see the moon rock. <laughs> I went to see the moon rock. It took about three hours on the waiting. And so many people there. So I can't really sit still. But that's how I think it's growing on me. Someday I'm going to get out from Japan and go to America. And But for you know, a few years later, after high school, I visited in Arizona. Surprisingly, it looks like not too much green here in Phoenix, and Lala Desert reminds me like moon. So, and that's how i still here. One day, I have a four season encounter to do in my tasting menu. And every single time, those guests a s k i n g me, When did you come in the US? Why you chose Arizona? And I always talking back to 1970, I went to see the moon rock. That's how I come here. That night, there are two couples laughing and giggling. And I go, Why is t so funny? They say, You know why? They're all working NASA project. And I will let you see the moon rock. You didn't really see well. Two months later, they called me up. Then I went to see the、uh, moon rock and put it in my hand of a little rock. I was fascinated. <laughs> Finally, it took 40, 40 years to touch the moon rock. It's almost like、uh, see the girl I missed it 40 years ago. <laughs> Today, we're doing a few dishes, and the first one is a local vegetable to kind of clean your palate. It's an、uh, Easter egg radish and French breakfast. So, local cucumber, it's a、uh, yellow dynamite. This one is a、uh, uh, Madurian cucumber. And this obviously for、uh, cucumber for、uh, pickles and local farm first、uh, harvest on this year. So, this cucumber looks kind of like a watermelon, but、uh, it's a very sweet, mild cucumber. So, why I'm cutting like this is trying to get not cut through but、uh, absorb the、uh, vinaigrette, which is I'm gonna use in、uh, wasabi plum vinaigrette. And、uh, how beautiful it is. Good. So, this、uh, cucumber we just got it yesterday. He just fast the harvest. And it's in a、uh, little bit north from here. Dry, it's a、uh, uh, wash. And used to be has a river. And somehow he does grow a lot of chicken and his soil is very, very rich. Whatever he makes, totally different than the other farmer.、Uh, I don't know why. He doesn't even know why. but Everything tastes so good, I think, because of the soil. So, I'm gonna put the wasabi plum. Wasabi is a fresh wasabi and a pico sour plum with a little bit of a soy and vinegar to make a vinegar red. So, I think it's an American culture. 
they use a salad dressing has oil in it. However, in Japan, they don't use oil for that. More like a clean, uh, I think it's a, we, we call subtraction. And American style will be addition. So they want to put more flavor, more flavor. And instead, Japanese is take one flavor out. So we call subtraction cooking. It's kind of a little difficult to explain, but. So reason why it's going to be cut like this, so easy to absorb the flavors and easy to taste of being red. Like so. Sauce. Meantime, this is the uh, local cauliflower. And a little bit of sauce made of sesame dressing. Sesame seeds with a little bit of, uh, looks like a peanut butter, but that's sesame seed puree dressing. So, purple graffiti, orange cheddar, and typical white. And I have a local company tomatoes. So it has a cucumber, yellow pepper, red pepper, orange pepper, with a tomato water and mascarpone cheese. And finish up with bonito from Japan, amber jack. This is gonna give extra umami. You know, Japanese food is based on dashi. It's bonito and the kelp. So this is a fish. And bonito, that's what the people call. And dry, uh, smoke, dry. Fish, just like that. But it's a fish. Takes about 10 months. You might hold on just that. For beating a red on uh, vegetable, cucumbers and uh, radish is just a touch of uh, roasted sesame seed to get another flavor. So that's gonna be the little pork dishes. I could eat radishes every day if they tasted like this. So this is a clear parchment paper. And I have a mushroom, it's a enoki, shiitake, uh, morero, and uh, shimeji. Has garlic butter from this Argentine garlic. 
sake and soy mix. Very simple. I use this garlic here, it's from Argentina, and uh, uh, Mendoza is a high altitude, and I tasted it a few times, and I tasted it with local organic garlic to compare, and it's kind of a little tingy on the local garlic, compared to its smooth, uh, sweet, and very nutty and creamy. They're very, very unique. So, I was just talking to one of my farmers yesterday about garlic, and he agreed it's very difficult to grow the garlic in Arizona. And because I think it's this is high altitude, it helps on the cold weather. But uh, I'm looking forward to, and supposedly it's coming hopefully soon. So this is just uh, try out this garlic to make garlic butter, and chili and sea bass toothfish to bake in the parchment with the mushrooms. So, it's gonna take about 10 minutes. Meantime, I am going to do the uh, next salmon dishes. This is mint, basil, lemon, lime zest, and a little bit of salt and brown sugar to cure for a couple days. Then, wash it with white wine. And this is the same fish, but stomach side. So it's a little bit more fattier, and this is raw. This is a sweet soy roasted almond. So. Okay. This is basil oil. So this is a little Napa cabbage. Little bit of a mushroom. This is daikon radish. And a little bit of chive. Little cheese is pecorino romano cheese to give a little salt flavor to the uh, salmon. Little bit of a soy balsamic dots. So this is a two fish from Argentina, and soy and balas goes very well with this, and mushroom bring the flavor. Everything's keeping in the parchment, so once it's open, guests will be enjoy the uh, aroma, and wait to see the flavors is more interesting too. But uh, the fish is very, very, very mild and smooth. Surprisingly, uh, it's not fishy at all. So a lot of times it's uh, seabirds or uh, cod is kind of, you know, fat and oiled and a little fishier, just very clean. So I'm surprised. Thank you, Chef Nobu. Freshest sea bass I've ever had. I have one of them, it's house cure. We use mint, basil, and lemon lime zest to cure with salt and brown sugar. Uh, white wine kind of washed off, have a little bit of white wine flavor. Pecorino Romano cheese on the top to give you salt. And soy balsamic reductions on the top. Sauce in green is a basil oil. Salmon itself has a little bit of a basil and uh, mint flavor, so it goes well with the sauce. The other side is a stomach part of the salmon. I slice thin to do shabu shabu. Usually shabu shabu in Japan is a beef, but I do a lot of different types of shabu shabu in my restaurant. Uh, so this is a salmon shabu shabu. And this is a paper called kaminabe. As long as the liquid in it, it doesn't burn. And I want to have and a little bit of daikon radish and the chive to mix into the ponzu. 
Best to do this is have a little bit of a Napa cabbage and mushroom in liquid to get a flavor on the liquid. Then after that, put salmon in about a couple seconds. Uh, pretty much agree to low, but cook a little bit to get an intense flavor and goes well with dashi. And this on a spoon, just eat as it. So cold and warm, salmon two different ways.